Welcome back to another episode of our Ask the Roofer video series. Um, back again with Beth Pernisi from A Plus Garage Doors. And we're gonna talk, this is something that I didn't know about. So I know a good bit about construction. And so I'm gonna assume like a good part of our audience that doesn't work in construction won't know this, but um, you were explaining to me how adding a, or upgrading your garage door is a very quick and efficient way to increase the property value of your house. Um, why is that? Well, curb appeal. Oh, good point. Um, same thing like if you add landscaping. Yeah, because you get like those like really fancy, mm -hmm. or not necessarily super fancy, but just different style wood panel looking doors that aren't insanely expensive, but have a different look to them. Right, we have a great metal door that looks just like wood, mm -hmm. and you wouldn't know that it wasn't wood. And that's not and it's not as expensive as your yep. custom-made mahogany doors. Yeah, I'm not, so. not getting into those. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's, yeah, I mean, upgrading your door to something more appealing to your house or matching yep. the colors to your house, which the original garage door might not match the colors. They're almost um, always white or cream. <laughs> right, right. And if you decide to put shutters on the door, on your windows, you can match the door to the shutters. So oh, it has a like a, a blended effect, yeah. kind of. Um, and what about insulating doors? What's your What are your thoughts on that? So insulated doors are great, especially if you have a room above the garage. Um, your bedrooms, uh, you want to keep them warm. And if your garage doesn't have the insulation, the heat will escape through the garage door and then your room upstairs has to work harder to stay warm. So if you want to really be nice point. and snuggly when you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> How much cost-wise are, are Getting is getting an insulated garage door just astronomically more expensive, or it's just not like that much more. Ten percent more, twenty percent more. It really depends on the door, what you're getting. Um, Great way to like every, push that question off. I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, every door is different. And, yeah, and every door is different, and, and putting a little bit more into each door is varies on what type of door gotcha. you're, you're talking about. But that that can help even when your garage space keeping it cool and mm -hmm. whatever's adjacent to that space right. in the house right um i never thought about the room above it because i don't i didn't i didn't think about that but that's a really good point because okay. if you're freezing underneath it just goes up it's it's all your heat's going to get out yep how long does it typically take if you're if you're ordering a new Door, especially if it's something like that the wood panel looking door not necessarily the the high high-end ones is that something that's going to take a huge amount of time to order get in and have installed or is that a pretty quick process typically no um, a lot of those we have in stock oh, okay uh, if you have an odd size door then that would have to be ordered and that could take anywhere three six weeks sometimes more sometimes depending less depending on how depends. custom it is yeah. yeah yeah but a lot of them are in stock so we can install usually the same day sometimes next wow. day what last question on this subject what say i needed a new garage door mm -hmm. and i didn't know you guys like, horrible situation <laughs> um what could i do to make sure that i'm getting a good product and it's being installed properly i mean what what should i watch out for what should i know about to be educated in that process right well you always want to be an educated consumer Exactly, yeah. Um, you want to ask a lot of questions. If you're anything like me, you ask a ton of questions. <laughs> and then the, the guys get annoyed with you because you're asking too many questions. But you always have to ask, you know, um, what the the product that you're, you're ordering, why is it better than what you have? Mm -hmm. um, warranty information, stuff like that. Yeah, warranty. Um, is that... Is that, for us, warranties are, are a big deal for certain products. Is that a big deal for garage doors? It, it can be. Um, what we install, the products we use are, are high grade products. Mm -hmm. So, you know, your warranty is typically a year mm -hmm. with everything, manufacturer's warranty and, and everything. Um, but we don't see hardly ever. I can't even think, in, in all the years we've been in business, that we've never been called for warranty issue on, on the garage doors wow. that we use. <laughs> It's a good track record. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's no. We just we, we happen to use good products. So what can I say? <laughs> hey, I'm I'm of that school of thought as well. Um, I mean, your your product reflects your company. So if you're putting in yeah. crap products, then yeah. you're gonna look like a crap company. It's just right. how it is. Right. 
Um, oh, another thing you should do when, when uh, being a good consumer is check the company out and make yep. sure that they don't have a lot of complaints uh, about the company. And if they do have complaints, sometimes complaints aren't a bad thing. It depends on how the company handles those complaints. Yes. <laughs> because there, there are no perfect companies out there and every company is going to have something or an error. But if, yep. you know, if you're a good, reputable company, you're going to work it out with the customer and, and make good on whatever that complaint is about. Yep. And so. uh, we talk, we've talked about this before too. You can be an amazing company and one of your guys can be having a fight with his wife or yeah. something yeah. and not handle a situation appropriately and generate a complaint and like you said how that company handles that yeah. makes all the difference because sure. you're gonna there's the stuff's gonna happen mm -hmm. regardless something's yeah. gonna go wrong um, at some point in in the life of a company if they stay around of course and you want that company around which is another thing yep. where you should make sure that company didn't just start yesterday <laughs> it's been around for a while that if you do have a problem you can call that phone number and get somebody on the phone and that they will call you back and speak yep. to you. Yeah, that's, that's roofing industry all over. <laughs> we had hundreds and hundreds of roofers pop up in this area. Yeah. And they have no history, no references. And it's like, yeah. we do great work though. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Show me. Common in, in the garage door industry also. Yeah. Where they just come and, and, you know, trucks being lettered is a big thing too. You know, if they yes. just show up in that pickup truck with just stuff hanging out all over the place, which we see driving around all the time, <laughs> it's uh, interesting. Um, what if I got a new door in my house how long can I spe expect if I properly maintain it how long can I expect that door to last now easily 10 15 years if not more depending on if you maintain it you yep. have a you know a professional come in once a year and uh, do a service on the door you can yep. get a lot of years out of it awesome yeah. I think that's some really good information I definitely appreciate you stopping by and, and educating me at least on garage doors yeah oh, well, thanks again for having us let us know if you have garage door questions um feel free to put them in the comments we'll put beth to work to answer them <laughs> <laughs> i'd love to do that <laughs> um and we'll link up all your stuff so people can find you as well yeah and yeah. if you have roofing questions siding question windows questions i'd love to answer those as well so feel free to putting that in the comments so thanks so much and we'll see you on the next one Thanks for watching another episode of our Ask the Roofer video series. If you like the content, please like, share, or subscribe here on Facebook or on our YouTube channel, whichever way you prefer to see it. And if you have questions, we'd love to get your input, see what you want to learn about, and, and do our best to help explain those things to you.